recording right now and uh, we'll put this up on the internet so if you have a problem with that you have to let me know I try to do I try to record a live lesson every so often okay um, so uh, MSNBC this is a, a business channel in America your business answers uh, kind of an interesting story uh, talking about a solo entrepreneur a solo entrepreneur great expression so if you are interested in business this is a very good story um, lots of good expressions and uh, good message there were lots of vocabulary words to learn solo entrepreneur masthead replicate represent uh, uh, advocate I'm finding the business expressions values shared values work ethic value propositions spin detail oriented clients precise granular to give somebody latitude great business expressions and then to go off script fumble the ball excellent idioms and uh, so to speak is a great uh, very common cliche too so lots of uh, really great expressions, great words, great vocabulary to learn. And once again, if you are a business person, this is a very good, very useful article, I thought uh, to myself. So were there any questions about the story, about the words, about pronunciation for DDM 137? Any questions? Don't be shy. Remember, your microphone is off, so if you have a question, you have to turn it on. No questions. That's fine. That's fine. Uh, that that's good. That means you were watching the answers video and explanation video. Very good. Okay. I'm moving right to DDM one thirty nine. Hold on a second. Now DDM one thirty nine. At the top, I put this practice hangouts. Um, and I want to talk about that for just a second. Um, we are using Box.com, and I hope that everybody is uh, enjoying Box.com, not having a problem. Uh, I want to remind people, um, when you use Box.com, you can actually leave messages. I hope that everybody knows that you can leave a message. Um, there's a little, you know, plus bar here and if you hit that you can leave a message so here uh, Mohammed Riza left a message he wants to practice DDM and uh, Holly responded so this is a really useful tool uh, that you can use you can ask questions here too um, like what does this word mean um, or something like that you can ask me a question too and I'll check uh, this frequently and hopefully I'll be able to answer you. If I can't answer, if I don't answer you here, I'll answer you in the explanation video or the um, answers video. So just remember, this is a very private area where you can leave messages uh, only for the DDM community, which is uh, nice because some people want to just leave a message to other DDM members. So that's what we can do on box so that's pretty cool now this story was from Bill Gates and I called it Billy's summer reads books that Bill Gates recommends uh, that you read during the summer and uh, Bill Gates is a terrible speaker I was really disappointed <laughs> but uh, he's Bill Gates so almost everybody in the world loves him. So he introduced six books. Uh, the first book was Bully Pulpit, Bully Pulpit by Doris Kearns Goodwin. The next book was Business Adventures. It's an old book by John Brooks. Then there's Stress Test by Tim Geithner. And there was Rosie, The Rosie Project by Grammy Simpson. And there was The Sixth Extinction by Elizabeth Colbert. 
And Zeke Emanuel wrote Reinventing American Healthcare. So those were his six books. Once again, excellent vocabulary, really good expressions in this one too. Lots of phrasal verbs. To be sickly, great adjective, or well, in this case adverb too, uh, not very healthy. Uh, to push oneself, to dig into, phrasal verb, relevant, to uh, be looked over, uh, phrasal verb, dramatic, excellent adjective, crises, the singular version, crisis, crisis, the plural, crises, crises, inevitable, excellent word to learn, extinguish, hard choices, suitable, excellent, to run into, phrasal verb, meet the criteria, requirements, uh, passages, the rate of species, good, beating you over the head with something. And I realized later another good word would be nagging. If you're familiar with the word nagging, it's the same thing as beating you over the head with something. Uh, readable, so Bill Gates likes these words, inevitable, suitable, readable, uh, complex, lays out, another great phrasal verb, and to take certain approaches to use a specific method or strategy. So really excellent vocabulary, and we would expect that from somebody like Bill Gates, but actually not a technical vocabulary. He, if you look at Bill Gates, you know, very smart Stanford University, he went to Stanford, very smart guy. His words are not that difficult. They're quite common words, but he uses them well, uh, which makes it sound a little bit intelligent. His speaking style, however, is terrible. Anyway, he's Bill Gates. So, any questions about Billy's Summer reads, pronunciation, vocabulary, um, expressions. Coach Shane, can yes. I ask? Um, I would like to know about the perfect pronunciation of two words. One of them I find in this DDM and in your perfect lesson. It's a good pronunciation of the word reduce. Is it reduce or reduce? Okay, that's a good which, question. Which, yeah. And the other word? Yes, and the other word is very simple word, also. Also or also. Okay, good. Very good. Okay, mm -hmm. so uh, when we talk about this word, reduce, actually the perfect pronunciation would be reduce. Okay, and this is an S sound, so think of it as an S. So reduce, reduce. However, many Americans when we say it quickly, reduce, reduce. It's actually a schwa. However, it's an i schwa, not an u uh schwa. And once again, I've told students, DDM students, one thing you have to know is when they talk about the schwa sound, the schwa sound, most people think uh, uh, uh. And that's true. That's correct. However, Actually, in American English, the i, i can also be considered a schwa sound. It's not r. You could say reduce, and you could say reduce. Both are possible, and we can call that a schwa. So, reduce, reduce. Actually, reduce is probably uh, the most common. Reduce, reduce, reduce. So, Guria, want to try it? Reduce. Yes, but I, I was interested about a U sound. Reduce or U just? Okay, so once again, the, yes. the proper pronunciation would be deuce. Now, some Americans might say a deuce, okay? They might add that Y in there, okay? Mm -hmm. That is possible, uh, reduce. And even I might say that sometime. Actually, I know my grandmother would say that. Reduce, reduce. It sounds a little bit southern. Uh, so yes, Americans might say reduce. However, my recommendation for you guys, re 
reduce, reduce, reduce. Reduce. Perfect. Like reduce. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So reduce. say, say mm -hmm. a sentence. Reduce the amount. Reduce the amount. Very good, very good. Okay? Okay. Okay. Now, when we talk about also, this is an A-W sound, of course, and the so should be very strong O. So also, also, and one thing to remember, when we make the O sound, it's just one syllable, O, O. However, when we emphasize the O sound, it actually is almost a diphthong, two syllables, like O, O. So if we emphasize also, we'll get both that O and the O together. Also, so if we say it fast, also, 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 it's just an O sound. But when we say it slowly or when we emphasize the word, you'll hear also, so, Gulia, you want to try? Uh, okay. Also. It's also. And also. Very good. Very good. Yes. Yep. I'm going to make it. If it's a quick. Go it ahead. It should be also. 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 Good. A, a middle sound between, between U and O. Yes? A middle sound. Also. Also. Yeah, uh, yeah. Well, also, no. If it's if it's quick, it's just oh, also, also. Oh. So, mm. so, so, so. So it shouldn't be so. It shouldn't be like ooh. No, no, like, no, no. no. Like ooh. reduce. No. Mm -hmm. no. Mm -hmm. So I'll make a sentence for you. Also. So read this sentence, uh, Guria. Mm -hmm. I also want you to reduce the amount. There you go. Sounds very natural. Exactly. Very good. Very good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So thank you. Yep. More questions. Shane. Yes. Book, yes. Good, book Goodwin Brooks. Just U or U? Okay. So uh, book. You're asking about the Goodwin. word book, right? Yes, Goodwin. Ah, Goodwin, Goodwin. Right. Goodwin. Yeah, so book, book, Goodwin. Yeah, these, ooh, they are both the same. Uh, uh, book, and, Goodwin. And Brooks. And Brooks. Brooks, where's that? John Brooks. Uh, ah, yeah, yeah. Adventurous. Very good, very good, yes. Brooks, yes, they're all the same double O's. It's that uh sound, uh. Short. Yep. Oh, oh. Try this sentence, Andre. Goodwin and Brooks have good books. Ah, uh, not too bad. Goodwin and Brooks have good books. Books long or? Not yet. Not boo. It's books. Same thing. Books. Uh, uh, it's all the same. And good. Same, same thing. Yep. Uh, good. Good books. Good books. Good books. Good, Goodwin and Brooks have good books. Sounds pretty good. Goodwin and Brooks have good books. Goodwin and Brooks have good books. Have good books, books. and good looks. <laughs> Try it again. Goodwin and Brooks. Uh, Goodwin and Brooks have good books and good looks. <laughs> Very good, Andre. Oh my gosh. <laughs> More questions. Those are, those are good questions. Yes, please. I have questions. May I ask you something? Coach. Okay, I got three questions. First of all, Amar, then Sergey, then Burhan. Go ahead, Amar. Okay. The word the word endure. We say endure or endure. Okay. Uh, we'll say both. So we've got endure, endure. I think most Americans will say jure, endure. So my recommendation, Amar, endure. And, endure. Yes. But why? Why it's uh, it's the same like reduce, but here reduce we say o o, and here y o o. 
Yeah, I know. Um, I can't tell you why. Some Americans will say endure, endure, endure. Uh, but I think, and I'm just guessing, I'm, uh, I'm not sure which is more common. Let me think. I can't endure it. No, I'm, I'm sorry. I think most Americans will say this, endure, endure. So, and, endure and reduce, same. Yeah, exactly, yes, yes. Endure and reduce, yes, same thing. Ah, yes, 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 yes. So, any word uh, uh, aimed with, uh, ends with U, and then at the end of the word E, it will be the pronunciation double O? Um, I don't like to say any and every, but probably. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I think you would be safe in thinking do with the do sound. You should be safe with the do sound, okay? Okay, hey, thank you. You bet. Uh, Sergey. Yeah, I have a crazy question and a normal question. Okay. For the first, uh, a crazy question. Okay. It's a uh, very connection between the uh, healthcare system in America and the uh, Ukraine crisis. Ooh, interesting. The healthcare system and whoops, the Ukraine crises. Uh, you know, offhand, I would say no, but who knows? Uh, maybe there is some sort of connection. Have you heard anything? Uh, Shane, uh, only your opinion. It's not about me. Yeah, uh, I, I don't know uh, any. I, I haven't been able to connect any dots. I haven't been able to connect any dots. I don't see any relationship. Great. Uh, and and uh, the second one, uh, yeah. yeah, a normal question uh, about, uh, you know, address. We say in Europe or we using in Europe uh, um, at the, in the first place uh, the street and afterward the number, you know? Yeah. We say, for example, street uh, and number, street 45 and, but in America, uh, you're using uh, something uh, yeah, special. Uh, this is America. Uh, yeah, we yeah. go name, then we go... Uh, the house number. Right. In the place, you know? Well, for example, I'll write, I'll write down uh, uh, my old address. Uh, this is when I was a kid. Uh, Shane Peterson, 1025. So, your house number. Yeah, this is the house number. Okay, so if you have an apartment, then the apartment would go after here. So, for example, um, apartment 201. So, if you live in a house, it stops here. If you have an apartment, it goes after. And so, you this, know, is, uh, this is the street. You have many, many streets on the, the having uh, numbers, you know. Street uh, with numbers, without names, you know. Okay, so and, and if we just change this, we could say, you know, uh, 22nd Street, like that. So this, is, so this is the building number or the house number. This is the street. And if you live in an apartment, then you put the apartment number. So building, street, uh, and apartment. Um. You, you know, Shane, in Germany, uh, uh, the streets uh, are having names, you know. Yeah, like, like Whitmer Avenue, I assume. Yeah, but uh, no numbers, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, the streets, uh, so like 22nd Street, you don't do that, right? Now, uh, we do, for, for, for example, we can say uh, Obama Street. Yeah, right, 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 yeah, yeah. Or, or Peterson Street, you know? We do that in America, too. Uh, but usually in the downtown, they like to use numbers. It's easier for people to remember. Uh, it's something special for America, you know? 
Yeah, they had, uh, you know, Europe is very old. Uh, so when they uh, created the cities in America, they used actual architects to design the cities. And uh, they, they were smart. They used alphabetical names or numerical orders for the streets. They went north, south, east, west. So if you look at a map of uh, most of the cities in America, it's actually very organized. If you look at a map of an old city in Italy or Germany or the UK, oh, the streets go this way and that way. But it's just because it's very old. And what about W I? Ah, Wisconsin. This is this is the city. This uh, is the state. And this is the postal code. Ah, yeah. City, state, and uh, the state. USA. That and USA. In America, we never use USA. But uh, uh, I think it, it, you you know you'd put Germany or whatever here. But yeah, we never we never use this. Um, but you could. Yeah, thank you very much. You bet. All right, Burhan, go ahead. Katchen, can I add? Um, oh, okay. uh, go ahead. Gulia, do you want to question? I would like, yes, I, no, no, no. I would like to add the information about the address in Russia, for example, in Moscow. We always, uh, we always mention the number, of ha the number of house, home, and then the name of the street. Because we have so long streets, for example, that ah. if we don't mention the number, you can just lose, you can be lost, I'll have to say. You, can, you cannot, you couldn't find the exact exact house or apartment where you should go. Right, 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 so, right. Yes. Yeah, every country, right. every country has a real different uh, method. Even Korea, uh, everything is backwards. Um, it's very interesting looking at the uh, address form for different countries. Even in Europe, some places uh, write it differently. Um, it's very interesting. Yes, yes, in Russia it's the same. We, we, now we say the uh, country, city, then the street, then the number of the house, and then the number of apartments. There you in go. Russia. There you go. Very yes. good. Okay, uh, Burhan, you had a question. Yes, yes I have a pronunciation question. Yes, sir. Uh, is it uh, is it financial or financial and uh, is it possible if I if I say financial financial yes all possible so the perfect pronunciation is financial okay now many Americans do say f financial financial and once again financial is possible. So once again, we have that schwa sound. We have the double schwa, the uh and the i. Now, when we say reduce, the ri schwa is more common. But when we say financial, the f schwa is more common. So all three are possible, financial, financial, financial. They're all possible. I think... And I'm just guessing this is probably the most common financial, financial, okay? Thank you. You bet. Good questions, good questions. Any other questions? Okay, we're going to go to Seinfeld at this point. Now, we got DDM 138 which was the end, <clears throat> excuse me, which was the end of uh, season five. Uh, and most of you studied this from the beginning, so it's not too difficult. Um, I'm just going to go to the glossary. Uh, this is it, great expression, merger, more business, out on the street, homeless, jobless, to undertake, another great business expression, Germs, you have to know that word, uh, to lead to, to cause, the end, the end of the company, not to mention sal you, it's a very clear you, salutations, my usual, get the pronunciation, 
uh, Don Mattingly, batting stance. If you like baseball, you need to know these expressions. I'm not crazy about excellent daily English expression. Go with it, another great expression. A hell of a guy, another excellent expression. Let's call it the same thing. Uh, say what you want about da 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 at a certain point. Squeegee, all very good words. Any questions, pronunciation, uh, intonation, meanings? We are going to do role play today after we finish uh, talking about each lesson. We'll do role play. Burhan, go ahead. Uh, uh, when the jurors say, wait, 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 that's too much. Yes, sir. I don't know. If, uh, is it in this lesson? Yeah, it was Kramer who said yeah. that. Yes. Is it wait, 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 or wait, wait, wait? Wait, 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 wait. It's actually, it, you know what? The the faster we say it, if we say it really fast, it actually sounds like wait, 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 wait. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. However, uh, Burhan, remember when you do an expression like this you need to have the body language. Okay, so I'm gonna turn my camera on. So you have to do this. Hold on a second. Where's my camera? There we go. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 wait. So don't worry about the T, but the A is, is important. Wait, 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 wait. Okay? Gotcha. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> Perfect daily English, gotcha. <laughs> Any other questions? Say, yes. Say, yes, sir. Kramer often use, uses the expression giddy up. What yeah. does it mean? Okay, we studied giddy up a long time ago. Does anybody remember? Sergey, do you remember the meaning of giddy up? Uh, giddy up, yeah. Do you remember the meaning? I. Uh, I um, giddy up, uh, yeah, let's go, or, you know. Yeah, yeah, that's right. It means uh, let's go, and this is an expression, an expression that we, that cowboys use to horses. Yeah. So if you watch uh, an old cowboy movie, when the cowboy wants the horse to move, he says, giddy up. Giddy up. Okay? So that's the origin of the expression. So in daily English, if you say to your friends, giddy up, it can mean let's go. But Kramer uses it a lot, and when Kramer uses it, he means awesome or excellent. So yeah. that's kind of unique to Kramer. Uh, but typically, it would be uh, let's go. Giddy up. Does that make sense, Andre? Yeah. Yep. Shane, you're right because uh, you don't uh, hear uh, that much, you know. Not with the horses, right? Yeah, it's a no. Kramer expression. Yeah. That's right. I, I think uh, Obama doesn't say that. Yeah, probably not. <laughs> but George Bush might say it. He's from and Texas. He's a kind of what about uh, Shane Peterson? Uh, no, I don't say it. Yeah, you know? Yeah, that's the point. You yeah. don't use it. I'm like Obama. <laughs> More questions? You guys are too nice today. All right, I'm closing this one. I'm going to open up DDM 140. Hold on a second. Now, DDM 40, we've started season six. And this is actually the second episode of season six. So if you buy the DVDs, I do recommend getting season six. Uh, we have the opening monologue, which was actually pretty funny. Um, I talked about it in the explanation video about pens. And it's, it's funny because it's embarrassing if you don't have one. It's just 
stupid but funny. A stationary store. Remember, when we talk about a stationary store for paper and pencils, it's E-R-Y, not A-R-Y. Uh, we met the owner of the store, and he was making Elaine very uncomfortable. Elaine was very uncomfortable because he had ideas. Probably he was interested in her and wanted to have dinner with her. This is the idea. We meet George, and uh, George has a new girlfriend, Julie, and uh, they want to have lunch with Jerry and Elaine, but Jerry had a big bowl of kicks. And if you saw my ACC video, you saw the box of kicks. Um, Elaine wants a big salad, but George is uh, going to the coffee shop. They don't have big salads, but Elaine argues that they do. And that's it. Uh, I thought this picture was really funny. I said, look carefully at the picture. Why? Because there was a mistake in the, in the word stationery. That's right. That's right. So this is an American store, and they made a mistake. Yes, this pronunciation is the same. But Americans get confused. I just thought that was too funny. Uh, very funny. The stationary store. That means nothing moves in the store. <laughs> um, BIC, very famous company. It's actually a French company. Um, we have BIC lighters and BIC pens. Very common in America. Uh, bu -bu -bu used up. Excellent phrasal verb to account for something. Rolamec is actually a, a brand name like BIC. However, Rolamecs are not expensive. They're making a joke. They're actually very cheap. It's the type of pen that you find at the bank. A mechanical pencil. It's mechanical because you have to push a button to write. Uh, we have share and kicks. Uh, he's got ideas. Uh, once again, it doesn't have to be evil ideas, but uh, his ideas are he wants to date Elaine. And that's very mature. George was being sarcastic. So he actually means that Jerry was very immature. Childish is the idea. Kix is a popular cereal for children not adults, but Jerry was eating kicks, so George thought it was immature. So that's the vocabulary. Questions? Shane? Yes, sir. Elaine got a new job in the first episode. Yes, I explained that in the explanation video. Okay, I, 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 I missed it. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, that's right. Uh, and I'll tell that to everybody right now. So if you remember in the last, in DDM 138, uh, Elaine lost her job. The company went bankrupt. And in season six, in the first show, we didn't study that show, but in the first show, Elaine gets a job as a personal assistant to a very rich old man. And this is a terrible job. A personal assistant basically goes to the store, buys food, buys clothes. They make the hotel room. It's like a secretary, but it's personal stuff. Um, it's, uh, you're basically a slave. And that's what Elaine, Elaine, this is a temporary job for Elaine. So she's a slave. <laughs> and she's buying a pen for her boss. Uh, what do you do? She doesn't want to talk to him, but she's also embarrassed about what she does, so she doesn't want to say that she's a personal assistant. Uh, Coach Shane? Yes. Yeah, I have a question. The uh, roll Mac. Is it the brand of the pain or this kind of pain with the chain? It's called Roll Mac. 
Yeah, Rolla Mech. And once again, it is a brand, and the only type of pen that they produce are this type, security pens. So it is a brand, and the company only makes uh, security pens. Okay? So they don't... Yeah, the, the other... I was going to say they yeah. don't make mechanical pencils. And they're very cheap. No, I mean uh, there there are some things with chain the same um, the same shape that you put it in the bank sometimes in the hospital what what do we call it? Oh, a security pen. We can call it a security pen. Oh, okay, thank you. Yeah. yeah. And like, okay. and there are many different brands, and one of the brands for security pens. Uh, is Rolamac. That's just one of the brands, I'm sure. More questions? Let's talk about uh, the great uh, chip chat chain. What do you mean? Uh, Joe's uh, girlfriend uh, said to Elena, oh, please uh, come, Elena, you know, but uh, not uh, really. She doesn't want uh, Elaine to come with, you know? Yeah, that could be. People are, uh, that I, I didn't notice that she was being fake, uh, but it's uh, possible. Was she polite or only uh, saying something uh, nice? I actually think she was sincere. She was polite, I think. Um, so we, we, we have two expressions, uh, being fake and being sincere okay uh, sincere would be polite or true um, and in this situation I, I do think she was being sincere but it's possible that she was being fake insincere yeah because uh, she said it uh, yeah very fast and uh, not emotional you know it's possible that's true that's true no if if, if I uh, once you do come with, I would say, oh, please come, Shane. You know? Yeah, I, I do agree. Um, but people are all different. And once again, we have to understand, George, uh, we, watch George. George has a new persona. Do you guys know persona? Yeah, and you girlfriend. No, 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 no. Uh, oh, no, okay, okay, a new personality, yeah. Yes. A new image, a new image, yeah. That's right, a new image or personality. And what is his new image? What is his new personality? Yeah, to be uh, rude. <laughs> yes, so that's the idea. Arrogant, uh, rich, powerful. Um, so, uh, we can, I could almost say British. <laughs> Boston, yeah. yeah, but uh, but but, and British people are really good. Uh, they talk politely, but they don't have any meaning. It's very superficial. So it's possible that uh, George and his new girlfriend are very superficial uh, people. That's very true. <laughs> I, I should. Uh... I should take this out. We shouldn't say British. That's not nice. <laughs> okay. And uh, the second one, Shane, do you like uh, this artist, uh, Miss uh, Cher? Uh, no, I'm not a fan of Cher. Uh, you know, I was watching some uh, yeah, videos on YouTube and uh, many, many people uh, love her. Yeah, she's my mom's generation. Um, and I think my mom likes her. Uh, she's, uh, yeah, I don't know. She, to me, I'm sorry, they're just, she's just another diva. Uh, yeah, so, to so superficial, you know, to superficial, yeah. Yeah, exactly, exactly, yeah. I, I, I don't... talking about herself. Yeah, exactly. That's, uh, many, many people in Hollywood, the only thing they can talk about is themselves. 
What's what's the meaning of diva? Uh, princess. Oh, okay. Someone who thinks they are God's gift to humans. But Shane, uh, if you don't have a great opinion about you, uh, you won't make it to, yeah, you know. <laughs> yeah, you know, my, my, my possibility of success is uh, very low because I do not like all the divas. <laughs> but being, conf being confident uh, means, uh, you know, uh, being self-centered too, yeah. Yeah, and that goes back to the, the British thing too, that, that, that extra, we call it an air of confidence and, oops, uh, an air of confidence. Um, it can be, it can be seen as rude, um, off-putting, um, and at the same time, some people see it as powerful, uh, respectful. Uh, for me, uh, I'm in this area. But some people like it. Some people like that air of confidence. Um, I don't know. Okay. Coaching. Yes. Uh, Coaching. Yes. <clears throat> I have a question about uh, pronunciation of <clears throat> the word uh, mature. Uh, is it mature or mature? Okay, it's mature. So I'm going to write out here, mature, mature. So it's a oor, oor, mature. Mature. Yeah. Mature. Say it faster, mature. Mature. Good. Some Americans will say mature, mature. Mature. Yeah, so you'll hear both. Mature. I think, let's see, which is more common, mature. I think this might be more common. Um, I think mature. that might be more common. Mature. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, thank you, Coach. And uh, other question about about um, sincere and fake. Uh, why you compare these uh, words? The meaning different to being sincere and to being fake. Okay. The idea of uh, well. Fake is the opposite. Fake is the same as insincere. Okay, this is just the daily. Okay, okay. Yeah, it's the daily okay. English word for insincere. Yes, yes. Yeah. Uh, but I, I, I saw being sincere, and you write being sincere and being fake, and I, uh, and I thought that you mean meaning uh, that uh, the. Uh, similar, no, no, no. This word, yes, yes. Sir. Yep, the okay, opposite. That's right. That's right. Yes. And about diva, I want to know your opinion about Madonna. What do you think? Uh, uh, another diva. Um, yes, and your meaning about Madonna. Do you like her? Uh, <laughs> no, I mean I don't dislike these people. You know I don't hate them or anything, but uh, maybe uh, maybe not uh, only a person. Maybe uh, her music. Uh, yeah, actually, actually performance. some of her some of her music is fine. Um, you know I uh, like I don't know I can't remember anything, but uh, I do know that some of her music is fine. But the, the image that the person creates, um, I think, is really bad. Uh, Madonna was popular when I was in high school. That's when she, so she's my generation singer. Um, and when I was young, uh, I wasn't a big fan. But, you know, it was okay. Uh, but the people themselves, it's, it's just a shell. It's just a, you know, a character. So I don't follow them. But the music, some of it's okay. I, she has a song called Music, I think. I like that. Mm. Uh, Santa has a question. Can a guy be a diva? Yeah. Uh, 
and usually if we say he's a diva, uh, he's gay. Um, can a straight guy <laughs> be a diva? Um, yeah, but I, I think for a guy we would say spoiled. Um, uh, but yeah, we can we can still say diva, even though it should be only a woman. Uh, but it's possible. It's possible. A divo. <laughs> no, no, you don't have to say that. Okay, I'm going to finish this up. Let's do some role playing. I want to hear you guys speaking. And we're going to go back to DDM 138. Uh, that seems to have the best split. Don't save. Um, and we're going to start with this scene. Uh, George's parents' house. No, we'll do the last one. Yeah, we're going to just do this one scene. I'm going to have people run through it here. Uh, I'll go in alphabetical order, and I'm going to start with Alex. Alex, can you be Elaine? And Andre, can you be Jerry? And Andre Boyd, can you be Kramer? Hello, and, Jose. Wait. Hello, and, Shane. Huh? Hi, hi. Hi. And Besher or Amar, can you be George? Okay. All right, let's go. let's go for it. Starting with Alex, please. Okay. <clears throat> I must have had at least eight in my mouth. I couldn't talk. I couldn't talk. Why do you have to eat so many? Because they're duty food. I like them. I didn't know it would start a chain reaction that would lead to the end of pendant publishing. Not to mention the end of Kramer's coffee table book. Yeah, you knew he had a cold. How do you expect him to blow his nose, yeah? Do you know what's going on here? Can you see what's happened? I've become George. Don't say that. It's true. I'm George. I'm George. Am I? Who is George? George? Yeah, me, George, but I cannot see the, the screen. Okay. It'll take a second. Okay. Greeting people, greeting, greeting and salutation. What a beautiful day for ball game. Let's play too. Oh, I'll have the chicken salad on Ray. My usual, you know what I get, darling. So let's see, I had a little conversation today with Mr. Don Mattingly. He, he's the first baseman. Elaine. Alex. Ah, yes, yes. This uh, one. Uh -huh, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, Amar, when you see it. Uh, but I cannot see the screen. It'll join. It'll, it'll get you. I'll put it in the chat room. Can you? Oh, you can't see the chat room, can you? Yeah, no, I can see uh, okay. George. Oh, uh, we talked about his new batting stance. You know, I'm not crazy about it, but I said, Donnie, go with it till it stops working. Donnie, baseball, he's halluva guy. <laughs> wait, wait, wait! That too much. Mine was more than yours. Uh, let's call it even. All right, very good. Now, first of all, the intonation was pretty darn good, uh, but I'm going to get you on a couple of points here. Let me go back to Jerry's line. Uh, who's Jerry? Andre. Andre, say it again. Why do you? There you go. Give me more of a D-Y-J. Why'd you? Why'd you? Why'd you have to eat so many? Why'd you have to eat so many? Good. Say this. 
When do you go? When do you go? When do you go? Say that. Where do you go? There you go. So why ya, when ya, where ya, what ya, how ya, who ya, who'd you go with? Yeah, it's all the same pronunciation. Very common. Make sure you get that down. And uh, we can get rid of the H2. So one more time. Why would you have to eat so many? Why you eat? Why you have to? After. Why you have to? Why do you have to eat so many? Excellent job. Very good. And this one, Kramer. Who's Kramer? I I was. Intonation. You knew he had a cold. You. You knew he had a cold. Good. Get that he stronger. You knew he had a cold. Uh, solution. But uh, I I heard when you say when you said no. Uh, you know. You knew. I know. Knew knew. You knew he had a cold. I, <laughs> you knew. I how how should I say it? Knew or no? Knew knew knew. You knew he had a cold. Excellent job. Very good. And Elaine's line again. Do you know what's going on here? Do you know what's going on? What's going on here? There you go. That was great. And Amar, where's the S? Greetings, people. Greetings. Greetings. <laughs> Very good. I thought, I thought you would see the R. No, it was the S. It was the S. But here, it's the R. Chicken salad on rye. Chicken salad, uh, chicken salad on rye. Very good. One more time. I'll have the chicken salad on rye, my usual. I'll have the chicken salad, salad and rye, my usual. Very good. And this one, Amar, you need to sound arrogant. You know what I get, darling. You know what I get, darling. There you go. You have to sound like a diva, okay? I don't know if I can be a diva. <laughs> <laughs> and this one, not Dawn, but Don. Don Mattingly. Don Mattingly. Very good. And back to George. Get that A stance, batting stance. Okay. Batting st stance. Very good. And it's not Heluva. That sounds Arabic. It's Helava. He's a hell of a guy. Hell of a guy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Besher, I don't want you to use that expression, okay? Okay. I don't. He doesn't know what's the meaning. <laughs> Besher, Besher, you should you should just say he's a great guy. He's a great guy. But your mom and dad, they can say he's a hell of a guy. He's a hell of a guy. Good. Very good. Very good. <laughs> and let me go to Kramer's line here. Wait, 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 wait. That's too much. Wait, 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 wait. That's too much. Get the S one more time. <laughs> Yes. Wait, 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 wait. That's too, that's, that's, that's too much. Excellent job. Great job. All right. Let me uh, change the colors. We're going to do it again. So each time we do it, it should get better and better. Oops, hold on a second. Sorry. I need to go color first and then yellow. Okay. Now this time I want Burhan to be Elaine, please. Uh, actually, no. Burhan be Jerry, and Gulia be Elaine, and Hyun is here. Hi, Hyun. Kochi. Hi, hello. How are you? Great, great. Welcome. And let me have Ingrid. Ingrid, can you be George? George. Yes. Okay. All right, great. So let's start with Burhan, please. Now it's me. Uh, Elaine, Elaine, yes, yes, yes. Gulia, yes, please, Gulia, yeah. Yes. I must have had at least eight of my mom. I Coaching, couldn't talk. Uh, I couldn't talk. Why do you... Why do you have to eat so many? Okay, once again, hold on a second. Let me, let me skirt it out. So <coughs> Elaine is Gulia. Jerry is Burhan. 
uh, Kramer is Hyun, and George is Ingrid. Okay, so let's start with Jerry. Let's start with uh, Burhan. Why do you have to eat so many? Because they are due to fruit. I like them. I didn't know it would start a chain reaction that would lead to the end of pendant publishing. Not to mention the end of Kramer's coffee table book. Yeah, you you had a cold. How do you expect him to blow his nose here? Do you know what's going on here? Can't you see what's happened? I've become George. Don't say that. It's true. I'm George. I'm George. Greetings, people. Greetings, greetings and salutations. What a beautiful day for a ball game. Let's play too. Oh, I'll have the chicken salad and rye. My usual. You know what I get, darling. Let's so let's see. I had a little conversation today with Mr. Don Don Mattingly. He's the first baseman. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. We talked about his new batting stance. You know, I'm not crazy about it, but I said, Donny, go with it till it stops working. Donny, baseball, he's a hell of a guy. Wait, 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 uh, that's too much. Mine was more than yours. Uh, let's call it, Vivian. Okay, wow. First of all, you guys did really great. I, the pronunciation was very good. And I must say, Ingrid, you, your pronunciation was very nice and very polite, the opposite of George. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, but once again, if I have to encourage you to speak one way, Ingrid's way was perfect. That was very nice and very polite. But remember, George is acting very arrogant, very arrogant. So, so Ingrid, can you sound like a diva? Uh, I'll try it. Okay, try this section and sound like a diva. <laughs> oh, I'll have the chicken salad and rye, my usual. You know what I get, darling? So let's see, I had a little conversation today with Don Mattingly. He's the first baseman. Oh, it sounded so much better. That was really great, Ingrid. Very, very great. And let me Thank go, you. Let me go to Hyun. Hyun, intonation. Try this one again. Yeah? Oh, you knew he had a cold. In this case, you knew he had a cold. I knew you had a cold. Yes. So you have to be angry. So I'm going to read it, and I want you to repeat, please. You knew he had a cold. How do you expect him to blow his nose? Yeah. You knew he had a cold. How do you expect him to blow his nose? Yeah. There you go. That was really good, Han. Very good. Very good. Uh, yeah. Burhan, you had the same one as yesterday. You did a great job. No problems there. And uh, Gulia also. Excellent job with Elaine's lines. Now uh, we're going to do it again. Thanks. Uh, this time, Sergey, who do you want to be? Uh, yeah, Elaine. Okay, Sergey will be Elaine. Uh, in the first group, who is Kramer? So, Hyun, I want you to be Jerry. And who was Kramer okay. earlier? That was Andre Boyd. Andre Boyd, I want you to yes. be George. And okay. I need somebody to be Kramer. Who wants to be Kramer? Anybody? I want to go to I want. Okay, Alex will be Kramer. Go for it. Okay. Wait a moment. Uh, yeah. Uh, what about my voice quality? Uh, you, you, you sound fine. Just be yourself. <laughs> okay. Oh, hold on a second. Hold on a second. Burhan, Burhan wants to be George. Okay, Burhan, you're George, and and the other person is Jerry. Who's the other person? 
Jun, Jun is me. No, Hyun. Okay, Hyun, uh, you be Jerry, and Burhan, you uh, be. Okay. Burhan. Thanks a lot. Okay, starting again. Go ahead, Sergey. Yeah, I must have had at least eight in my mouth. I couldn't talk. I couldn't talk. How do you have to eat so many? Because they juicy food. I like them. I didn't know it would start a chain reaction reaction that would lead to the end of pendant publishing. Not to mention the end of Kramer's coffee table. Oh, okay, yeah. One more time. Yeah, you need. Yeah, yeah. Oh, not to mention the end of Kramer's uh, coffee book table, coffee table book. Yeah, you knew he had a call. How do you expect, expect him to blow his nose? Yeah! <laughs> do you know what's going on here? Can you see what's happened? I've become George! Don't say that. It's true. I'm George. I'm George. Greetings, people. Greetings. Greetings and salutations. What a beautiful day for a ball game! Let's play too! <laughs> uh, I only had a chicken salad on rye in my usual. You know what I get, darling? <laughs> so let's see. I had a little conversation today with, with Mr. Don Mattingly. He's the first baseman. Uh-huh. Burhan, your mic is on mute. Who should say? We talked about Please. his new. We talked about his new batting stance. You know, I'm not crazy about it, but I said, Danny, go with it till it stops working. Danny baseball. He's a hell of a guy. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. That's too much. Man was more than you. Yeah, let's call it even. Good job. Very good, you guys. Very good. Uh, and Burhan, excellent George. That was a very good George. <laughs> okay, let me uh, get to Hyun a couple of times here. So Hyun, this is a tough one again. So this pronunciation is YJ, and we can actually cancel the H too. So why would you have to eat so many? Why would you have to eat so many? Excellent job. Excellent job. Very good. And this one is Kramer's line. You knew he had a cold. You knew he had a cold. Blow his nose. Blow his nose. There you go. There you go. So this H we can definitely H? cancel. Um, and the, cancel, yes. um, we can cancel or we can keep them. It doesn't matter. Uh, but this one definitely cancel, okay? Okay. Great. And Sergey, it sounded like can, so you really need to hit this stronger. Can't you see what's happened? Can't you see what's happened? You, okay, so the easy way is to make it a ch. But try yeah. not making it a ch. Just make it a real strong stop. Can't you see what's happened? Okay. Can't you see what's no, happened? No, no. You need to emphasize this word. I am not the second one. Yet. Right. Can't you see what's happened? That's right. That's exactly right. And of course, the body language uh, or the expression is going to be clear too. So I'll just put my camera on and do it once. Can't you see what's happened? And uh, what about uh, the second version? Can't you see what's happened? It's wrong? That's, that's possible. Can't you see what's happened? Absolutely possible. Uh, in that case, if you're not going to emphasize can't, then I recommend the ch. Can't you see what's happened? That's possible. Yeah. Great. And then for Jerry's line, don't say that. Don't say that. Very good. Be nice. Be nice. Be, Don't be understand. That. Don't say that. Don't say that. Very good. Very good. Thank you. And one more, uh, Hyun. Eh, let's call it even. Eh, let's call it even. 
Eh, it's curly even. And actually, this is longer. Make it make it a little bit longer. Eh. Eh. Yes, and it means. What does eh mean? What does eh mean? Eh. Um, no. It means um, who okay. cares? Who cares? <laughs> who cares? It doesn't matter. Okay. Ah, okay. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. It's curly even. There you go. There you go. Great job, everybody, today. Very good. Very good. Any final questions about anything? How's your question? Oh, many questions. How's your? Oh, how's your? Okay, Hian, go ahead. Hian, what's that? Yeah. Oh, how's your? Have to eat uh, Korean food? Yeah. 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 Yeah
Maria Magdalene, you know? Oh, Maria. yeah, not, not Mother Maria, but Maria Magdalene. That might be right. And who's Jerry? Uh, Jerry, uh, Jerry is God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it. I never heard of that. But, yeah, let's see. Jerry is God. Uh, Elaine is Mary Magdalene. I don't know how to spell it. How do you spell that? Um, I'll just leave it like that. Uh, George is Lucifer. And uh, Kramer is Jesus. <laughs> yeah, you, you might be right. You might be right. Any other questions? Call a sitcom. Yeah, exactly. It's the holy sitcom. That's right. <laughs> and it's funny. Be yeah, anyway, yeah, it's, it's funny. I like it. Sid. Yeah. Yes, Andre. I, I would like to say thanks uh, to you for uh, the invitation to take part in this uh, uh, lesson. And um, I joined when uh, the lesson was uh, in swing. But anyway, it was interesting. And uh, my question is, what does uh, it depend on? Sometimes I, go, I get uh, this invitation, sometimes no. As you know, I usually take part uh, in your lessons every Sunday. Yeah. What does it depend on and uh, okay, how so often can you invite me? Yeah, I'll explain. I'll explain. So uh, this is what I call the DDM Live Hangout. And DDM Live uh, is every two weeks and we have uh, I'm gonna use my time we have a Friday 6 p.m. and a Saturday 10 a.m. so this is the Saturday 10 a.m. hangout it's every two weeks and I send invitations to all live members and VIP members. So yes, VIP, we, are still, we are still alive. Yes, we are still alive. The <laughs> live members sounds like a, a little bit. Right. We have, remember, for, for DDM now, we have four levels. We have DDM VIP, DDM Live, DDM Open, and DDM Light. So these, only these two groups are invited to DDM Live. Uh, DDM Open has no live classes, and DDM Lite has no live classes. DDM VIP, also, they have a, a weekly class every week. Um, and, for example, some students like Sergey, Sergey attends a lot of classes. He, he, Sergey does a role play. He's active in one class, but usually he listens to two or three or all classes. So for Sergey, um, his schedule is very good. So he, every month, Sergey listens to about 16, 18 live classes. <laughs> See, I, you, you, don't, you don't count, but you know. <laughs> yes. yeah, yeah, I do, I do, yeah. Which is really great. Uh, Santa attends a lot of the classes, too. Um, so, so for VIP students, uh, they get invited to everything. And DDM Live, uh, I send them invitation to both of these classes, and they're every two weeks. Okay. Okay, I understand. And uh, it might be not too po too polite to ask, but. Uh, uh, Feel free to explain. I will not offend. Uh, when I join uh, to this, uh, uh, let's call it no usual time. Uh, is it good with you? If if you, if is it uh, uh, okay with you and uh, another participants uh, uh, that uh, I take part? I um, took some uh, replics, uh, read some replics. Maybe because of this, some people will know. Uh, will not uh, will not have opportunity uh, to read. Yet. Or is it a Yet. completely okay? What do you think? What do you think? Yet. Yet. Okay. <laughs> no. Yet. DM Live is open for everybody. So I, I give everybody the chance to speak and ask questions. Uh, so it's no problem.
Yes. And uh, as I as I see, uh, this uh, this is uh, a little uh, some delay between uh, DDM Lite and between uh, DDM Weep. Because right, so we studied we studied this lesson uh, on Lex, um, in uh, uh, last week. Yeah, so so DDM Live, uh, we studied four lessons. So today we studied what did we study? DDM 137, 138, 139, and 140. So two weeks later, we'll study 141, 42, 43, 44. Yep. And DDM VIP, we study two lessons a week. Okay, I didn't know that. It, uh, this is a very good opportunity to practice. Uh, Absolutely. As, as they said, uh, repetition is the mother of education. Yes? <laughs> That's exactly right. That's exactly right. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thanks again for the invitation. My Thank pleasure. You. I'm glad that you joined us. Yeah, so I, uh, I want to become a VIP member. So what uh, should I do? Send me an email, Hyun. Uh, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. um, I'll tell you right now, VIP classes are full. Uh, but uh, I know one person is leaving. Um, so send me an email. Oh, yeah, send me an mm -hmm. email and I'll give you the times. Um, so, yeah, uh, send me an email and I'll give you the times right okay, now. I'll send you an email right now. Uh -huh. Okay, good. And I'll, I'll answer you back. Okay, thank you. You bet. Good timing, that's right. Okay. Any other questions? Alright, great time. Question, can I ask? Yes. Yes, you may. Hello. Question. Very stupid question after this whole question. Stupid questions are A good, good pronunciation. <laughs> yes, I know. Uh, a good pronunciation I, I of wanted something. the name. Coach. Wait, wait, Burhan. Let, let Guria speak first. Okay, thank uh, you. I just a want to say something. <laughs> Guria, Guria okay, because, because. Wait, let the young boy speak first. Okay, yes, okay. Uh, it's, uh, I don't want to be rude. I just want to add something. Uh, a quote from you. The only stupid question is the question that you didn't ask. Oh, Burhan, thank you. I was going to say that. Thank you, Burhan. That's right. The <laughs> only stupid question is the question you didn't ask. Yes, I'm that's sorry, Mr. Gulia. Thank you, Burhan. Yeah, thank you. Gulia. Thank you, Burhan. <laughs> yes, a good pronunciation of the name of the actress. Elaine or Elaine? Oh, that's Elaine another great question. Elaine. Okay, so once again, the perfect pronunciation is Elaine, Elaine. However, we change this to a schwa sound. And remember, we have two schwa sounds, the i sound and the u sound, the very short u. So perfect pronunciation, Elaine, but many people say Elaine, and people also say Elaine. Now, when she says her name, I think she said she Elaine. Says Elaine. Uh, did she say Elaine? No, no, no. She says Elaine. Okay. So she's using the perfect pronunciation. Normally, she'll just say Elaine. Elaine. So all but George the... and Jerry call her Elaine. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They're all possible. Yeah. And uh, actually, another one, Elaine. Elaine is possible, too. So... This name can have four pronunciations, and they're all okay. Elaine, 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 Elaine. They're all possible. Yes, because I pay attention when she was in the stationery store, and when the store man asked her name, she said, Elaine, Elaine, you call just like Cher. She said, Elaine. So that's a... That's why I pay attention about her name. That's a great job, excellent job. And once again, that is the perfect pronunciation. So when somebody asks my name, my last name, who, do you guys know my last name? Peterson. Okay, so my last Peterson. name is Peterson. However, the in America, if somebody asks my name, I say Peterson, Peterson. I pronounce the T. 
Um, and sometimes I pronounce the sun as in very clearly because we, and we also have uh, S-E-N spelling. Um, so when we give somebody our name, we usually speak very clearly. Uh, don't you say Peterson and uh, flat T? Yeah, Peterson, absolutely flat T. Yep. Flat T, yeah. Andre, don't worry, Santa is teasing you. <laughs> Santa I got it, I got it. But uh, I, 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 pretty often, I pretty often did this kind of mistake because of this I checked this out. Thanks, yep. Santa. Santa, Santa, thanks for connection. Zeb Santa, you're being cruel. Do not confuse people. No, no, no. I, I, um, please, uh, in future, correct me uh, uh, where, where, where you want. No, you're absolutely <laughs> fine. <laughs> yeah. It's not going to end up in paradise. I don't think so. There you go. Santa's going the same place that George is going. Andre is in... Yes, Andre is a new DD member, and we all used to all jokes of Santa. That's it's okay for us, but for Andre, it's actually it's actually unusual. actually Andre Boyd is an original member, uh, but we have different hangouts, so they're new people to you. Andre, do you know Santa? Uh, yes, I I know Santa. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. Well, that's okay. Because Santa is a is a real great. DJ member. I like him. Santa's <laughs> tough. Santa's tough. <laughs> he knows so many words. English yeah. words. Yeah. I think uh, if I retire, Santa can take my place. But Santa never speaks. Rarely. <laughs> we will we will teach him uh, um, not uh, pronunciation. We will a uh, rhythm uh, rhythm English. It'll be, we'll it'll be a English. medium. Chat. <laughs> Actually, it, not, it, it uh, it's not a truth because the center make uh, makes too much uh, video uh, on YouTube with pronunciation of uh, DDM uh, lessons. <laughs> Did you? Don't you see it? Perhaps, perhaps. <laughs> you guys have a thank you so Can't much. Can't sign. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me, everybody. Once again, let me say uh, Santa, Sergey, Ingrid, Chan, Gulia, Burhan, Besher, and Amar, Andre, Thank you. Andre, Alex. Thank you all so much. Thank you. See you tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Bye. 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 Thank you, everybody. Good. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye.